Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like a Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today we are making Enoki Mushroom Meat Roll. You know, both enoki mushroom and sliced meat are pretty popular ingredients here in Japan and I believe it goes well together. You know, the recipe is super simple and I believe it's super Instagrammable. So why don't you give it a try at your home? Alright, let's get started! Well, the main ingredients for enoki mushroom meat roll are only two. One is an old mushroom and the other one is meat slices. Today I use the pork belly ones but I believe it will be good when you use beef instead. Plus you need a bit of potato starch and for sauce you need two tablespoons of sake, two tablespoons of mirin, I mean rice wine vinegar, Japanese rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of sugar. Well, we got only three steps to make it. Step number one is to cut the root end of enoki and divide it into the numbers of the meat slices you get. And roll the divided enoki pieces with the slices. Sprinkle some potato starch and it can make the roll pretty firm. I mean, not be broke easily. But if you don't have any starch, you can skip this step. Step number two is to make sauce. Mix everything in a small bowl or something like that. Be sure to soak the sugar well in the mix. Step number three is to heat the roll. You know, when the pan is heated, add in some vegetable oil and put the rolls in the pan. Just put the roll like uh, the end of the roll be underneath. I mean the ends of the rolls should be cooked first. Heat them with medium heat, flip over the rolls once or twice. And when they get nice and brown, remove the excess oil with paper towel or something and then add in the sauce in the pan. Keep heating them with medium heat and when they get nice, plate it and sprinkle some sesame seeds on it. That's it! Sounds easy, doesn't it? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Alright, it's time to go to step one. Step one is to prepare the roll. Start up with the enoki mushroom. Cut off the root end here. Alright, and give it a nice rinse to it. Yeah, rinse the enoki, so why don't we divide the enoki into pieces. There we go, seven slices, so why don't we divide the enoki into seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven pieces. Well, we got four slices right here. So why don't we roll the enoki with the slice. Okay, like this. Yes, that's it. Nice. The second one. Yeah. Yeah, the third one. Okay, the fourth one, fourth one. Go on to five, six, seven. Yeah, do the fifth, sixth first. Yeah, this is the fifth one. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, this is the sixth one. And finally, the seventh one. Lucky seven. Yeah, seventh one. Yeah, that's it. Okay, will be the seventh one. Alright, now the rows are ready, so why don't we sprinkle some potato starch on it. Okay, here's my seven rolls, so why don't we pour some potato starch on it. Alright, this looks great. It looks nice. Nice. Yeah, looks good. Looks white and good. Okay, now the rolls are ready. So why don't we go on to step two to make sauce. Alright, what are we going to step two? Step two is to make seasoning sauce. You know, sugar one tablespoon. I think it's about one tablespoon. And solve it with the uh, sake two tablespoon. One, two. Soy sauce two tablespoon. One, two. And last but not least, mini Japanese rice wine vinegar two tablespoons. Give it a nice mix. To let the sugar solved in a mix. Okay, when are we going to step three? Alright, 
it's time to go to step 3. Step 3 is to hit the meat roll. Now the pan is heated, so add in some vegetable oil, cooking oil. Any kind of cooking oil is okay if you have sesame oil, canola oil, olive oil, anything. And put the roll. It's supposed to be the end of the roll is underneath. Yeah, like this. I hope it's put that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Okay, heat it with medium heat. Start heating it with medium heat. I believe it won't take time. It's about 30 seconds as far since I start heating the roll. I don't need to flip it over. I heat it with a medium or medium low heat. Okay, I'll keep heating it for another 30 seconds just fast, but it's not finished yet. So let me look over, look it over, roll it. It's not done yet. And keep heating it for about another a minute or so. For another 30 seconds as fast. It's not done yet, I think. And another 30 seconds as fast. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah, it looks nice. And uh, another 30 seconds is fast. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, they look good. Nice. But only we need a set or a paper towel. Nice, that's the one. And I need a toast. Give it a nice mix again and add it. Mm. Yeah, uh, keep heating it with medium heat and let them go nice and brown. Yeah, it's nice. I believe it's good, you know, it's not soupy anymore. So why don't we plate the rolls? Time to plate the rolls. Alright, looks nice. So Instagrammable. Yeah, four. And get opposite side. Five, six. Yeah. Yeah, seven. No, no, no. It's so alive. Why don't we sprinkle some sesame seed on it? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks awesome. You know, the enoki meat roll is ready to go. Yeah, looks nice. Alright, now you know to make enoki mushroom meat roll isn't that hard than you think. So why don't you give it a try at your home? It looks great and the taste will be super yummy. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave some messages down below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Take good care. Arigato. See you. Bye.